Clary's Do Life. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to kind of reset my house. I'm going to be going out of town again this week. The kids are staying with their grandparents, both Wes's parents and my parents while we are gone. And I don't want to come back in about five days to a house with dirty dishes in the sink and gnats all over the kitchen because we all know that that just really stinks. So I'm going to try to reset the house, get all of my plants watered, and try to make sure everybody has their clothes packed for this week. I also have a few new items that I purchased this week that I'd love to show you, so make sure you stick around because you're definitely going to wanna to check it out. If you would, before we get started, go ahead and pause this video and scroll down and hit that subscribe button and click the bell and then click all so that you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. And make sure to comment below because I'd love to get to know you. Um, while we're at it, I'm starting to get in a fall mode. So I wanna hear, are you guys getting ready for fall too? Is it kind of in your head? My kids are ready for back to school. I'm definitely ready for cooler temperatures because I do not do well in 90 plus degree heat. I am too white for the sun. I just burn, it's uncomfortable, it's not fun. And so I wanna know, are you guys ready? If you are ready, make sure you drop your favorite autumn or fall emoji in the comments below. So this evening I decided to start off in the kitchen like I typically do. It's usually the messiest room in the house and has the most work that needs done in it. And so I always start out with loading the dishwasher and get the sink as empty as possible. This kind of helps motivate me because it's so good to see a clean sink. I know it doesn't happen very often because within just a few minutes it usually turns into a sink of dishes again, but it's nice to have it clean for just a few minutes. You'll have to let me know if you use one of these egg, egg cookers. They're the Dash egg cookers. I have one from Amazon that does a dozen eggs. I used to have the smaller version, but we just have a large family. And so I gave away the smaller one and I purchased the dozen egg cooker. And I love it so much, especially um, just to make a bunch of hard boiled eggs to keep in the fridge for breakfast or for a snack throughout the week. Here you can see that I cleared off my countertop and I was using the Mrs. Meyers Apple Cider Scent Multi-Surface Spray. It's my favorite scent that they have. It smells so good and fresh and I love all fall scents all year round. It doesn't matter if it's spring, summer, winter, or fall. I like a cozy smell and that's exactly what this cleaner is. Now on the end of my kitchen here, the kids had their suitcases packed, at least two of the kids did. And so you will see me move them aside um, here in just a few minutes. And the kids were also playing with this basket. They were pretending it was a shell and that they were turtles or something. So um, they had shoved all of their blankets and pillows in it after they were done playing. And so I just pulled those out and folded them and then put them away where they belong. I always love how the kids come in and out of my videos. Um, I'm a mom of four kids, in case you don't know that. My name is Elizabeth Clary, and I live in Southeast Ohio with my husband of almost 13 years and our four kids. Um, McKenna is 11, Briella is eight, Layton is seven, and Caroline is three and a half. And um, I'm not the mom who has a lot of opportunity to work without my kids being home. And so you'll always see my kids in my videos. Um, it is about our family. All of my kids help whenever it comes to cleaning our home. My husband helps a lot and we um, work very much as a team. In fact, even my three-year-old will say teamwork makes the dream work. And so we do work together as much as possible to get our house clean and in proper shape.
So summer is kind of coming to a close, but the cool part about it is that our garden is finally producing some vegetables. We have tomatoes, peppers, corn, jalapenos, um, squash, zucchini. We've already gotten a few tomatoes just in the past week from our garden, from our raised bed gardens. Our garden that is the in-ground garden, kind of the typical garden, which is next door at my father and mother-in-law's home is such a muddy mess because we have had so much rain over the last three or four months or so. I don't know of a summer that has ever been this rainy and wet. It has made it super hard for us to take care of the garden because it's just, I mean, you step in it and you sink in the mud and it's been hard to harvest any of the zucchini and squash because I can barely reach it. Unless I have my muck boots on, I'm not gonna go tromp through mud to get some vegetables. It's been a little difficult, but I'm hoping that it's going to kind of dry up here as we enter into late summer and early fall. I know a lot of people, especially down south, they've told me to send the rain their way because they've experienced a, a drought. And so if that's you, you and where you live, I'm so sorry that you've experienced that. I know it is so difficult. And I wish I could bottle up the rain that we have gotten and send it your way. Um, that way your gardens can grow and you guys experience a little bit more um, humidity, I guess, where you're, you live. Um, we are going to be harvesting our corn soon because it is almost ready. And um, I guess I'm going to have to get my muck boots out for that again because, like I said, it is super muddy in the regular garden. But I'm still grateful for the vegetables nonetheless, even if I have to get all muddy and tromp through a foot of mud all the way through the garden. <laughs> um, what is your favorite garden vegetable? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. I love fresh homegrown vegetables and fruit, but where we live, fruit doesn't really grow well. But vegetables are just so yummy. Tomatoes are my favorite, followed by homegrown corn. It's just so yummy and you just cannot beat it. And you just can't buy it at a store like you can from your own garden. So I saw this hack on Facebook a couple weeks ago and thought it was just genius. I purchased this shoe holder from Amazon. It was around 10 bucks and I will try to link that below for you. I chose the black collar because I thought it might hide, hide dirt a little bit better than white or the light gray options. Um, but I'm gonna put my cups in it, my tumblers, and I thought this was just such a great idea. I have the space on that pantry door and there are six people in our family, so I made sure to get one of the shoe racks with six rows. So I do everything to try to stay, try to stay organized by age. So I start with my husband and then myself and then McKenna, Briella, Layton, and Caroline. And so that's exactly how you will see me line these cups up. I did get rid of a few of these cups. They were a little bit beat up and were not used by us hardly at all. So we did get rid of a few of them but we did keep our favorites. Um, Wes does share his row with me a little bit because I had five tumblers and he had three, so it worked out really well for us to share the top row. Um, but I also went through all of these lids and made sure they fit on cups that we had. Caroline is three and a half now. She doesn't really use sippy cups. She usually uses those cups that are open there on the left that McKenna had just filled up for me. and. I, um, but I decided to go ahead and keep a couple sippy cups because one, they're great for in the car to avoid spills. And two, it's really great to have whenever someone comes over and has a young child who needs one. I've been that mom who just gets so worried because someone hands my kid an open cup and they're little and I'm scared to death that they're gonna spill it on someone's carpet or on their couch. And so I don't want anybody to feel that way in my home. So I did keep a few in my cabinet for the future for that. Um, Caroline absolutely loves this. All of my kids actually really love it and thought it was a great idea and they all can very easily access their row of cups. Thankfully, my kids are very independent and take care of themselves usually when it comes to drinks so they can come in here, grab whatever cup they want, even Caroline, and put some ice and water in it from the fridge.
doing this. Oh, Caroline said at the bottom, Lightens, Blinds, Tinnas, Spears, Death. Okay, the first thing I want to show you, <laughs> he's dancing or something, that I just bought. Um, these were from Target. I ordered two of them. They were so cute. They were $4.99, I believe, or $5.49, one or the other. Um, anyways, around $5, and I bought two of them, and they both came with these really nice straw brushes. They're a lot thicker than other ones. Here's one, another one for reference. Yeah, it's just really small. These are nice and long and thick, so they're good for like, the fatter straws, like the um, boba straws or smoothie straws. And then I also got this, I believe this was from like a Magnolia or Hearth and Hand, one of the Joanna Gaines of mine. Um, I love it, I think it's so cute, and it not only makes me excited to do dishes, but my kids are excited to use this stuff. It's worth a little bit extra to spend money on pretty items, <laughs> on pretty items um, to just, you know, Splurge a little bit on something like that, and it, if it makes you more happy to do the work, then go for it. I think it's totally worth it in the end. This is my other beautiful purchase that I got this week. My old air fryer was just, it had seen better days. And so I got this one on sale from Walmart. Um, we just cooked in it. The kids are actually eating and I'm getting ready to eat. Um, so it works great. I like that, um, it has salt on it here. Um, I like that it's just pretty and it looks like a nice, piece of you know cookware I guess you would call it a nice um, kitchen gadget it's not just like the typical ugly egg shaped one like my old ones I'm really loving this it's so pretty whenever it's turned on there's lights here for all of the different settings really love it right now it's on sale at walmart.com or on the walmart app for $89 <music> guys my beautiful fiddle fig fiddle fig leaf tree I think it's gorgeous it is so pretty for the longest time it's been over here on this side of the wood burning stove um, by the way we're gonna get this done to, fixed really soon with like the pipe through the ceiling and hopefully we can get some stone or something behind it and get all this mess fixed but anyways I just want to show you my beautiful leaves on my tree they're so pretty Briella just and sprayed them with some water because they really like it. Now my question for any plant people out there, because I am not a plant person, this is the best I've ever done, is the back side of it looks terrible. So I did move it over here so that it would get catch more of the sunlight and hopefully kind of grow some more. This little leaf, is it's, it looks okay, but it's little. And then that's that one looks okay. And then these look pretty wrapped. I don't know if I should cut those, some of them I have cut before, and that's why it looks really rough. If I turn it, it looks beautiful this direction, but the other side just looks pretty rough. So if you know anything about them, please let me know. Also, I don't remember what this little plant is called, but it has just sprouted up majorly. I feel like it needs more soil, like to cover this part, I don't know. Um, anyways, I've got to water this baby. It usually calls, actually it does call for six ice cubes, but our ice maker is not working. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of water and put in there. But um, I don't know why I just about called her Amber, but Briella has been um, misting them with water every day for me and they just really love it. I just moved this over here also because it was closer to the light. I moved it over here and spun it around some. So hopefully it will kind of bulk up on this side. And this thing has not bloomed for a year and a half. Briella got it for me for Mother's Day in 2021. And it had a beautiful red flower that, yeah, they look like hearts and have like the yellow center. And these, yeah, the flower is shaped sort of like the leaf, um, but it hasn't bloomed, but it does look beautiful when it's still alive. So 
I'm happy about that. But let's go ahead and go water the rest of the flowers. Now here's my leather leaf plant, which is also just doing fabulous. I love this plant so much. When I purchased this plant, it just had a couple of leaves and it's so cool how it has like little dots all over it. Um, anyways, whenever Car Caroline was littler, trying to find the leaf, she bit one of these leaves, which these leaves are actually poisonous. Um, I'm not sure if they are to humans, but they're poisonous to animals. We don't have any animals, so it's okay um, in our house. But, oh, here it is. Okay, so right here, Caroline bit that <laughs> when she was like two years old. She pulled it up from her high chair. It was sitting by her high chair on the floor, and she was in the high chair, pulled it up, and bit on it, and um, ripped one of the other leaves off. But right now, it's the prettiest it has ever been. Here's my other fiddle fig leaf tree. We've turned this around so it can hopefully get some sun on this side. Um, and it's looking pretty good again on this side. I don't know if I should trim off those brown spots. So again, if you know something about it, let me know. And then here's my monstera. It's so pretty. It's getting so big. I just got this plant stand on sale this week at Walmart for um, 12 something. I think it was 12 98. I really like it. I'm also wondering, do I need to repot it? I'm just not sure. I'm afraid to repot it. Last time I repotted something, it was a big fiddle, fee, fiddle fig, can't talk, and it just about killed it. And this is the last of my plant babies. Um, I forgot to tell Briella not to mist it. I'm afraid he's gonna get too much water. It's getting kinda yellowy down there. So I'm not gonna actually water it today. Um, I'm gonna give it maybe another few days or a week or so but it's just very it's very beautiful too my coffee bar really needed some tidying up it had um, some mail laying on it and it had been a little while since I wiped it completely down so again I used that mrs. Myers multi-service spray in the apple cider scent and sprayed it on this buffet. Um, this buffet was actually my great grandmother's and so I don't, don't plan to ever paint it or anything, but I really appreciate the beautiful wood look. Um, I just got this little sugar container from Marshall's. I believe it was $3.99. I just showed the tag, but I missed it. But I think it was $3.99 and I thought it was so cute. I love white containers and so I purchased that and I put a little bit of sugar in it and you took that blue container and put it in the other room to use somewhere else as decor. Um, I cleaned this cake sand off and then I topped it with all of my syrups. I really love the Tarani sugar, sugar free syrups. I have a cinnamon vanilla which I have not tried yet but probably will once the weather gets a little bit cooler outside. And then I also have the French vanilla and the sugar-free salted caramel. I love the salted caramel. It's my very favorite, especially with the caramel macchiato creamer. It's so yummy. So I believe I got that jar from Dollar Tree or Dollar, no, Dollar General. And it was like $3 maybe. I used my Cricut and put the sip word on the front. And then I tossed in our K cups and sat it on the counter. I thought it was the perfect balance to the buffet because I can't move my coffee pot to the right because it's plugged into an outlet and can't go any further. But I thought this balanced it out and it made it really cute. I can't wait to find a really cute runner for that cabinet for fall. Now I'm moving back into the kitchen. It was dark at this point. I was starting to get tired, but I was determined to get my whole kitchen cleaned. It had been about a week or so since I cleaned out my kitchen sink completely, which, which you can tell by the dirty dirty soap and um, suds in the bottom of the sink there. I mean, and in case you're wondering, my sink is a copper sink. That's why it's discolored in the bottom. 
Um, it's a disc, it's a copper sink, but it has a dark coating over it and it just kind of slowly rubs off. We've had this for a little over four years now and I just love the sink. It makes me happy still to this day. It's a beautiful farmhouse sink and um, I'm so grateful that we have it because it serves all of our needs so well. Next, we're moving on to these floors. Again, it had been a while since I had mopped the floors. We had Swiffered the floors and such, but I hadn't actually like mopped it with my o or Spin Mop for at least a month, if not a little bit more. And um, I, I was tired and I was, I was just worn out at this point, but I really wanted to get it done so that I could come home in a few days from my trip to a really nice clean house so that I could start working on my fall decor and getting the house all cozied up for that back to school time. In case you've never used the O-Cedar Spin Mop, I highly recommend it. It costs about $30 to $35 and you can get it at Walmart or Dollar General or Amazon. I purchased the traditional style. They have a new style now where it has um, clean water in one side and you wring it out on a different side and it collects the dirty water in a different container. Um, this one is just the traditional mop. However, it does have the step on it to wring out your mop so that you don't have a ton of water. This is great for my flooring because I don't like getting it soak, soaked and it's safer with four kids running through the house so we don't have wet floors that are slippery. almost did not clean up my living room because I'm telling you I was just really tired at this point but I knew that I would really be so grateful that I did whenever I returned from my trip in a few days and so I went ahead and put up this laundry that was clean folded the blankets and swept the couches and the floors and got it all cleaned up there's just something so relaxing going to bed at night knowing that you have a clean living space even if it's just one room like for me, if the kitchen is clean, my life is just, it's just like right on. It's just spot on. Everything is going well in the world if my kitchen is all clean. Um, what about you? Is there a room in your house that makes you feel the same way? The kitchen for sure is my top room that stresses me out and brings me the most peace whenever it is tidied and has very little to no dishes in the sink. My living room is my second room. And then my bedroom is my third room. Unfortunately, my bedroom is kind of my catch-all, so I have to work really hard to keep it picked up, um, but it's usually not my top priority because I'm not in there very often, and I prefer to have our living space cleanest the longest. So we're now coming to the end of today's video. I hope that this inspired you to get up and to tidy your home and to feel good about it and know that messes are normal. It is real life and it is okay to not live in a magazine picture perfect house all the time. But it is so satisfying to reset your home before bed. I know it is for me to be able to wake up and then I go to bed and then wake up the next morning knowing that I don't have to go work and do cleaning immediately. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe below, comment, and let me get to know you. I'd love to be friends with you. And don't forget that it is cheap to be clean and it's free to be kind. And we are so blessed. I hope you have a great, great day.